Hello, I am Ben, and I have seized control of the couch. Nate has this, been deposed. This, this is weird. I, I I'm I'm okay with this. This is great. This is this is a historic moment for this channel. This is the first time that we're recording a reaction without Nate. That the closest we've come was the Double Dragons. Right, but I mean it's like he was there. Like he's physically he's not in his own house. Like we're here. Oh yeah, he's like gone. He's not here. We can do whatever we want. So Micah and I were like, what are, what are we going to record? Because he told us to do this. He told us to do this. So I got to thinking. There is a video that has been highly requested, and I've seen it, and it's brilliant. The complete history of the Soviet Union arranged to the melody of Tetris. I saw this long ago when I was uh, in college at Tennessee Tech and hung out with a big old bunch of nerds. Completely unlike what he does now. Completely <laughs> unlike what I do now, where I hang out with a bunch of nerds. Um, there was a there was an honors dorm, and there were. There was a time where somebody started singing Still Alive from Portal, hmm. and an entire floor of people came out of their rooms and started singing. This also happened. The same thing. This song is, this is brilliant. This is done by um, uh, Pig with the Face of a Boy, which is weird title, and the picture's a little creepy. But anyway... This is really good, and we're going to watch it. So, now, can I do this from over here? Come on. Ha-ha! I can do this from over here! Science has gone too far. Science has not gone far enough, sir. Apparently, they put a boy's face on a pig. I, that's Yeah, it's a whole thing. But, uh, ready for the beep boops? Am I? Are you? I'm, I'm, I'm playing the beep boops. Yeah. Here we go. The videography work in this is beautiful. Also, somewhere Union is screaming. That descend upon me from up above. They come down and I spin them around till they fit in the ground like hand in glove. Sometimes it seems that two blocks is fine and the lines will be formed as they fall. Then I see that I have misjudged it. I should not have nudged it after. I love the hammers. Those are so great. Your 
plate now belongs to the state, a collective <laughs> regime of peace and love. I have no choice in arranging the box and the Bolshevik rule. What they say goes, the rule of the game is we all are the same, and my blocks must create unbroken rows. Long live the star. <laughs> yep. I am the oh. who arranges the box that are made by the men in Kazakhstan. They come two weeks late and they don't tessellate, but we're working to Stalin's five-year plan. I am the man who arranges the tanks that will make all the Nazis keep away. The Führer is dead, and Führer <laughs> is right. Let us point all our guns at the USA. We well. shall live for in the Cold War. We can start a nuclear war. Oh. Man, those eye blocks, they're, they're potent, aren't they? Barely. It's not done yet. But tomorrow, I think I'll stay in bed. The winter is cold. I've got plenty of gold. And I'm standing in line for a loaf of bread. Maybe we'd be better off if we brought down Gorbachev. I am the man who arranges the blocks that continue to fall from up above. The pockets are free, so much money for me. Tell me why should I care for peace and love? The pockets are free, so much money for me. Tell me why should I care for peace and love? Peace and love. Peace and love. Well, there went the Soviet Union. Wow. And now the world is down, the Marxists frown, there's foreign shops all over town. When in Red Square we'll don't despair, there's Levi's and McDonald's there. The U.S. gave us crystal meth, and Yeltsin drank himself to death. But now that Putin's put the boot in, we'll get in our way. So we reject free enterprise and once again the left will rise. Prepare the flags to be unfurled, cause we're seceding from the world. We shall regain the Georgian soul, we shall obtain the Arctic oil, we shall That was incredibly well done. Right? Kind of terrifying. Yeah? Very well done. Uh-huh. Super it's, catchy. It's fantastic. <clears throat> like, this, it's it's so good. Hold on, let me... I mean, yeah, def... What? They only have 13,000 subscribers? Yeah, how does Man. that work? But, I mean, it's got, it's got 7.6 million views, though. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, that's... Totally, totally deserved, because I don't think anything on our channel is even close to approaching millions of views. But also, like, that level of talent. Oh, yeah. In there. And uh, so, this video came out seven years ago. Yikes. Seven years and some change. Well, eight, right? Oh, yeah. Ish. And eh, not quite. Yeah, see, that seven and change. Yeah, still... Pretty accurate on that last bit. Because, <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, good old, uh, good old Putin. Still around. Yeah, so the way that their uh, leadership is set up, you can't be president for more than two terms consecutively. Right, you have to sit out. Uh... Yeah, so Putin went for two terms, and then somebody else got voted in who was sort of being puppeteered by Putin. Not, not Putin. <laughs> like, exactly. totally not Putin, you guys. And then Putin came back. And the cycle repeats. Putin. Interesting. So, yeah, that's uh, that's where that at. That's where that's at. But yeah, no, this. I I had seen the request for this at one point, and I went, "Man, I love that video so much." It's incredibly well done, and it's it's intricate too. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh man. One of my favorite things is, uh, uh, we are sending our men to outer space, and it's the. Uh, it's the little uh, space shuttle from Tetris launching. That's and I mean, so I guess, good. well, it's probably not news to anyone else, but it is interesting that tennis originated in Russia. Right, yeah. Which, I mean, I didn't know that until I watched, we watched the, was it 12 Little Roosters? Yeah. It's, yeah. It is great Russian game. And uh, so the, the Tetris theme uh, is uh, Korobe Niki, which is a Russian folk song. Hmm. Interesting. Very Russian. Very good. Very good game. I mean, it's the most remade game ever. You know, I can't say I've ever played Tetris. Really? I mean, it's like, it's such a cultural icon. It's like, I mean, everyone kind of knows, you know. I mean, it's also, you know, a great puzzle game. Right. It's, it, it's rare, like, I, I, I find it hard to believe that you've never played Tetris. I mean, that's fine, and I don't have a problem with it, right. but it is interesting. I didn't think those people existed, <laughs> existed. over, like, age six. Well, you got to think the first video game system I had was a Nintendo 64. That's, and then I yeah, went, that's true. went back and got a Super Nintendo. Well, and then somewhere in there was a Game Boy Pocket, too. Yeah. And, I mean, Tetris was one of the big things that sold the Game Boy. And it was like, hey, we've well, got the, this fun little game. The first video game I ever played was Link's Awakening on my brother's Game Boy Pocket. All right, so. that that is a fantastic first game. So, I mean, you know. I think the first one I ever played was OG Super Mario Brothers. Right. Because so I had the... I feel like at that point in time... Puzzle games didn't seem as cool as running around with a sword fighting monsters, so I just never really gave it Wait, any thought. Wait, in real life or in the game? Both. Yeah. 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 Fighting each other with sticks, just for no reason, in the backyard. Yeah. That was the... Right around that time was when people were really into Power Rangers, and I didn't get it. Of course, I wasn't allowed to watch Power Rangers. Yeah, we but. we did we did hop on that band, bandwagon. Yeah. I hopped on that bandwagon. Late. I mean, Power Rangers has been the uh, Power Rangers and Pokemon. They just keep like remaking generation after generation. It's yeah. Like there's. Oh man, I like I got into Pokemon early. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh I, boy, no. and I never stopped. Yeah, first gen. Well, I only went. I only played through Gold and Silver, and then I kind of got out of it. But I mean, yeah, that's man. Like that started when I was in the second grade. Yeah. Well, I guess you were in second grade too. Yeah. And now it's. It it blew up. It went crazy. We're old. We are old. Fortunately, not old enough to remember the Soviet Union. Yeah. The Soviet Union fell while we were alive, but we were, what, like two? Three? I was I was born in 89, so yeah, I mean, that's kind of the marks the collapse, the starting point, I guess. Micah, not only... Coffee shop Jesus brought down the Soviet Union by being born. I mean, I didn't want to say it, but you're welcome. Add that one to the lore page. Also, send me a link to the lore page on Discord because 
Is there a lore page? If there's a lore page, I want to see it. Oh, my god! I want to see how accurate this is. Gross. Also, just what fantastic things people have come up with about us. Oh, my goodness. It's kind of worried. Yeah. Well, I mean, you've got something else to add to the lore page. Nate's not here. We're doing a recording all on our own. That is still freaking me out a little bit. Yeah, I I was going to be like, you should move over here. But no, Has, now we have the intentional framing. It's weird. It's quiet. I don't like it. It's freaking me out a little it's, bit. It's different. We're in his house. We should move something. But last time I was involved in a prank like that, it was, again, at Tennessee Tech, we... Uh, there was a guy who had lost his room key, and so he left his room unlocked. Mm -hmm. We went looking for him and couldn't find him, but his room was unlocked. Mm -hmm. So we did the only appropriate thing, and we rearranged everything right for left. That is horrible. I mean, we went and put it back after he got really, really mad. I mean, I, I, mean, I wouldn't have gotten that mad, but... Uh, or just do, like, the toilet paper instead of, like, going over. It's, like, coming around the back. Horrible. Oh, that is... Oh. The worst. Is it bad that when I go to people's houses and that's like that, I will occasionally just <laughs> change it back to the right way? I mean, I think it's weird, but, I mean, if that's the way they like it, I guess, you know, they're entitled to their wrong opinion. Yeah. Yeah. And, and now I can't wait to see how many people do the toilet paper from behind, just to see. It, I wonder if it's a cultural thing. So like, only in actually, the, yeah, only, I, only only in the U.S. is that normal, and it's like going up and over, and like everyone else pulls it down from behind. Let us know in the comments. I'm Which, not doing this to try to get you to comment. I'm genuinely curious. How now. do you toilet paper? Not not how you wipe. What, how does it come off the roll? What is the orientation of your bathroom tissue? We want, we must know. I I'm curious now. One of these days, I might just make a poll and put it up on the Discord and be like, "Hey, how do you hang up your toilet paper?" <laughs> well, there's got to be a technical term for it, though. Well, the I guess it's like, um. Access point near wall, access point away from wall. Right, it's like cascading over the top or pulling down yeah. from behind. I don't, or, I don't know. Yeah. yeah, let let us know. I mean, people make a big deal about that. Like, they make a big deal about how you eat Kit Kats. How, oh, or you got to break it apart first instead of taking a bite out of the whole thing? See, that's why I just get the big cats, because then people can't right. make fun of me. I mean, it's kind of whatever. It's, it's, I mean, look, it's kind I'm of eating interesting. chocolate and wafers. Leave me alone. Well, I mean, I, it's kind of fascinating. I mean, it doesn't really, I don't think it's indicative of anything. It's, it, just, it's, it's interesting. Just interesting. It's definitely interesting. Now, except for the people who take bubble tape and just, like, take a bite out of it. That's that's too far. I've never had bubble tape. See? I mean, you got to, like, s stretch it out make it last. It's part of the fun. Just take a bite out of the whole thing. Yeah. Whoa. Well, on that bombshell, it's time to end the the very first video without Nate. Uh, let us know how you feel about this, <laughs> but be nice. Be mean be, if you want to. I don't. I mean, don't 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 be mean. Nate has to read all these comments. Be nice. That's what we're about here at the Renegades. I can't wait for Being him. Calm and rational. It's going to take a while to edit this, and he's going to get all these notifications like, what a bunch of freaks putting their toilet paper on the wrong way. He's not going to have a clue what's going on. It's going to be fantastic. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Nate, if you're if you're watching this... I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, if you're not watching this... Still sorry. No, I'm not sorry. If he's not watching this, I'm not sorry. Still... I am. <laughs> uh, this was fun. Good night, everybody. <laughs>